the right ventricular outflow tract view. During standard obstetrical ultrasound evaluation, several views are used to image desired cardiac anatomy. The four-chamber view is obtained during every standard examination. If technically feasible, a left ventricular outflow tract view and a right ventricular outflow tract view are also obtained. The right ventricular outflow tract view is described here. This drawing shows a fetal chest and heart. The right ventricular outflow tract view is an axial or transverse image through the fetal thorax above the diaphragm. It is used in concert with the left outflow tract view to aid detection of anomalies not seen in the four-chamber view. Together, outflow tract views show the left ventricle giving rise to the aorta, the right ventricle giving rise to the pulmonary artery, show normal orientation, that is, perpendicular crossing of the two outflow tracts, and show comparably sized aorta and pulmonary artery. Structures visible in the right ventricular outflow tract view include the right ventricle, the pulmonic valve, and the main pulmonary artery. This main artery subsequently branches into the left and right pulmonary arteries. The ascending aorta is seen in cross-section and is perpendicular to the pulmonary artery in this view. Each of the structures seen in the right ventricular outflow tract view is also visible in the short axis view of the great arteries, which is shown here. These views are equivalent, although obtained at slightly different orientations. In the short axis view, the right atrium, right ventricle, and main pulmonary artery are visible encircling the aortic root. The main pulmonary artery branches into the right and left pulmonary arteries. The tricuspid valve and pulmonic valve are also visible in this image. Note that the aortic root and pulmonary artery are similar in size.